literally got in my vehicle, brandished a weapon, told me he was going to blow my head off. Lenny Sanchez is one of a growing number of Uber and Lyft drivers who have been threatened with violence or even assaulted by their own passengers. We want that thing! When do we want it? Sanchez says, at least for now, he's taking a break, not because he can't make money. We're seeing drivers that are making, they're clearing some of them, $2,500 to $3,000 weekly. But he says even the sky-high fares aren't worth it for him. I have kids I have to come home to. Carjackings are continuing to fuel the fear. So far in 2020, there have been at least 651 reported carjackings in the city of Chicago. That is way up from this point in 2020 when there were just 358. We're finding that rideshare drivers are victimized at a much higher rate than the general public. Brian Greening with the law firm Legal Rideshare applauds Uber's announcement that they're offering rewards for tips leading to arrests in Chicago carjackings and Lyft's announcement that they will require an extra layer of account verification from riders who use anonymous payment methods. But he and Sanchez believe there's one much simpler way to provide safety, and drivers are already doing it. Such as a selfie, making a, a passenger take a picture of themselves each time they request a ride. Drivers have to do that before they start working each day. Uh, this is one thing that can significantly reduce driver victimization. The mandatory rider selfie is an option we've been asking about for months. But when we reached out to both Uber and Lyft specifically about making it a requirement, we've never gotten a direct answer. Today, we asked the mayor's office. A spokesperson with the Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection said they'd look into it. Please, Uber, we need you to hear us now. We want it to be a step in the ordering process to deter criminals from using the application in the way they have been. In the Loop, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.